In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a series of reports from your drawing, specifically the block report, the lot report, and the house report. So in this case, I have a block defined here with the red line, five lots, and four houses. And I'll just show you how to place the final house here first. So to do that, we're going to go to MS Tools, Subdivision, Place Building Structure. From this dialog, we're going to select which building we want to select, uh, use from our library. In this case, I only have the L shape. And which lot number? Well, in this case, I'm on lot 5. Also, ask for the building name. I've just been calling them A1 to 5 from here, so I'll just continue that. As well, the point number. I started at 6101, so right now I'm at 625. You can also give it an elevation. Insert building. And then you can place the building. And it's just showing the closest house ties. Once you're satisfied, you can just click. And here you can fine tune it if necessary. Once you're satisfied, click on place building. And your building will be placed in the drawing as well as all the points generated. So now that we have all our buildings in here, let's get onto the reports. Go to MS Tools, Reports, and let's start with the block report. Once we select it, it's going to prompt us where we want to save it. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to save them on the desktop to be easier to find later on. And this is going to be block 20. Save that. And now it's just asking us for the select entity. Well, we just have to select one of the lines that makes up the perimeter of our block. And then right click or enter. It's going to generate all the information there and open up the WordPad with our block information. As you can see, it has all the points IDs, as well as bearings and distances, northings and eastings for those points, as well as the to uh, total distance and perimeter, the uh, area of closure if there was any, the frontage, and the square meters and feet, as well as the hectares and acres. If you're satisfied, if you want, you can save this or print it, and then you can close this. Over here is also the prompt history from uh, that running that report, just close that. Next, we're going to go do the lot report. In this case, it's also prompting where we want to save it. Let's save it here. I'm going to call this one lot 5. Save that. Now it's just a matter of selecting one of the sides from our lot. So I'll just click this side here and right click or enter. And here's the report for lot 5. As well as all the same information as we saw with the block. If you want, you can save this or print it and then close. Again, with the prompt history here, so it's also saved in the program itself. Just close that. Finally, we're going to go on to the house report. Again, it's also just asking where you want to save it. This one was A5. Save that. And just select one of the lines that make up the size of the house. Right click or enter. And the report is generated for A5. And again, with all the same information that we saw in the lots and the block. You can save that or print it. And close. And again, the prompt history is here. And that's how you generate uh, blocks, lots, and house reports with MicroSurveyCAD.